Gone Love Doors here, folks. Heading out into the ground blind. Got a few nice bucks there last night on film. I just put the camera out last night. So, uh, been seeing a couple nice uh, deer and stuff, but nothing really worth shooting. So, we're hoping tonight that the big guy's going to come in. He's got it all scraped up. So, stay tuned and see what happens. Hopefully, we can provide some footage tonight. We got uh, Smat or uh, Tristan behind the camera here, McDonald Outdoors, he's been contracted for the evening for the hunt, so hold on. Swamp box, baby! six pointer uh, he spotted us but the wind was in our favor so we just had a look there I got him in the scope but he was a little too small as you can see it's nice and open all around that's the apples up there and uh, just have a wide view of these ponds we're in here little opening all around this is what we're at here big pine stand just off a swamp. There's lots of sign of this big buck. He's got nice rubs. He's nice track. He's got big trees like that hooked up. So that's the type we're after. We checked his track. It's, it's as far as our standards, he's a taker. Uh, that little guy today wasn't quite a taker for me. Uh, let him slide anyways. He had a good little bite of the apples. And uh, I think our rookie camera did, man did a good job of getting him on film. So hopefully we got a little look at him anyways. But, uh, we're in here early, got set up. Hopefully this little ground blind's gonna pay off there. It's uh, quite a little setup to pop up ground blind. So McDonald Outdoors live on the scene again. Gonna see what happens. It's just getting on prime time right now. It's about uh, 20 to four. Next hour, hour and 20 minutes is gonna be prime. We're just sitting off a swamp here in a stand of pines. Got a southwest wind, it's about seven degrees. Perfect win for this stand location. Like drawing loud doors, trying to get her done. And uh, inside the little ground line, here we are, right on crest on the camp. Let's uh. It's all outdoors. Swamp box, baby. This is what it's about. To get them big guys. <laughs> That's why they're big. Unload here. Whoa, dude. coming up there now. He's gonna show himself right down through there in a minute. There's another one right there, look. Great big one. He's a male protecting his female, look at that. Look at him ruffling up his plumage. Beautiful.
gone outdoors on the scene. live on the action again. Nothing but crows cawing and squirrels collecting up the apple pile right now, but oh, I don't know, we've probably been sitting probably for five hours. But, uh, that's what you do. Cold temperatures, long sits, and you wait, and sometimes you don't see nothing. Freeze your arse off, but that's what makes it all more than worth it when you get them in the end. And uh, we're going to be here till the end. Stay tuned for some more. How's your ear? I'm deaf, bud. <laughs> okay, I'm just here with uh, my heart just beating. Great big eight pointer. Walked out, he's gotta be at least an eight. He walked right behind the blind first, and I seen him broadside. He was so clear, but the cameraman wasn't ready. He couldn't get it swung around. We thought it would make too much noise, so we waited. And he cut along the edge, and we couldn't get at him. He was in the hard, thick stuff. He was really deep. What seemed like eternity, that buck stood there, and then he walked up through and walked up through. Looked like he was walking right by the apples. He was angling away. Finally, he gave us an opportunity. The cameraman could get on him. Once he did, everything was right. There was a little bit of bushes. I think it might have been a little blurry, but we zoomed back out, took our time. I think we got the shot pretty good. I hit him good, right behind the shoulder. I, I, I seen him buck in the, in the scope. I think we made a good shot, so. We're going to give him about a half hour and go check on him. There's lots of light, so stay tuned. McDonald Outdoors is right at you with a big one. Stay tuned for the recovery. Good, brother. He's good. He's just checking him. Found this track here. He's got a little stumble on. I don't think he's going to be fair. Look at the leaves right there. Look where he See where he stumbled right there. Look right there, look right there. There he is, there he is. Right there, bud. Right there. Oh, yeah. Huh? Big nine pointer. Holy fuck, bud. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, wow. Oh. Nice buck. That's what we were looking for. Oh, wow, look at that point there. That might be a 10 pointer. Yeah. Oh, bud. Right on, brother. Don't look doors getting her done here. I'll tell you, this was a long day. Come in, right uh, early first thing this morning. 
Knew we'd get in here real early. I thought the deer be on the move early because of this new fresh snow and the temperature drop. And uh, we sat all day long, never seen nothing. We were sat all through the morning and our feet were wet and cold. And I'll tell you, we, we just stayed persistent. We've been after this guy for quite a while. And uh, the funny thing about this was, is we wanted to make it work on camera. And he come down in downwind of us and I seen him and he was out the back window of the ground blind and I could have shot him but the cameraman couldn't turn around with the camera. It would have made too much noise so we had to wait and to have to wait on this deer. It was, it was, I'll tell you, my nerves were pretty shattered and it took what seemed like forever for him to come up along the side and uh, we waited and finally he, he got enough. The cameraman poked the camera out just and turned. You did a good job but I gotta tell you thanks a lot. Got a rookie cameraman, but I, I, he's going to be back with us next season here at McDonald Outdoors. Uh, did a good job on his first kill for sure. I'm happy with this. I'm going to get this guy tagged up, and uh, I got some people to video. So my job's done this season. McDonald Outdoors, I'll tell you one thing. I have to thank Dead Downwind because uh, that guy was dead downwind. I sprayed us down good before we came, and I, I lent the cameraman some clothes that I had that I had washed in the Dead Downwind product. And... Uh, he circled us. He circled down on the low side. The wind was blowing right at him. There's no way. He would have busted us. Even in that ground blind, we had a good crosswind. So, dead downwind. Uh, Got to thank you. And, of course, Miss Browning. <laughs> Getting her done. 2K10. Getting a 10. Dawn Outdoors. Stay tuned.